Hey guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. This is your host, Thomas Irie from On The Hot Podcast. Today, I have some bonus content for you guys. The bonus content we'll be covering today will be in the sport of baseball inside the MLB world. In today's bonus segment, I'll be sharing my thoughts on which player it was the better overall player, which better had which player had the better career in their MLB careers. Was it Barry Bonds or was it Ken Griffey Jr.? So before I get into my take on which player I do believe was the better overall player and which player I do believe had the better overall career, both Barry Bonds and Ken Griffey Jr. set the standard, set the tone. They both set the bar for what it's like to be a superstar and the MLB today. They set the tone for generations to come. These guys, when you want to see what it's like to be an all-time great, especially in the outfielder position, you put on the highlight tapes, you watch the film, and you study what Barry Bonds and Ken Griffey Jr. did for the sport of baseball. They are top 10 baseball players of all time. Definitely one some all-time greats as outfielders that the game of baseball has ever seen. But with that being said, who was the better player between the two? I have to say that Barry Bonds was the better player between himself and Ken Griffey Jr. I do believe that Barry Bonds was the better overall baseball player and the better overall talented player. Barry Bonds went on to win a total of seven MVP awards to compare to Ken Griffey Jr.'s one MVP award that he won. You look at Ken Griffey, I do believe that Ken Griffey Jr. was the better outfielder, but Barry Bonds was a much better hitter. And the records speak for itself. We really don't have to go into detail what Barry Bonds did and how special of a hitter he was in his baseball career. Barry Bonds was also a better overall base stealer. And Barry Bonds is one of the best base stealers in, at baseball has ever seen. Barry Bonds finished with a total of 514 stolen bases in his MLB career. And the only thing that I have to say that separates the Ken Griffey Jr. and Barry Bonds in terms of what the others have yet to accomplish is that Ken Griffey Jr. has actually made it to the MLB Hall of Fame. Barry Bonds has unfortunately not been there. And I don't. it's a question that might be one of the biggest questions in baseball history is if Barry Bonds ever gets selected to go into the MLB Hall of Fame. But I think that's the only thing that separates the two in terms of accomplishments, in terms of goals, in terms of things that really matter between the two. But like I said, I'm not taking anything away from Barry Bonds. I'm not taking anything away from Ken Griffey. Both were iconic baseball players. Like I just said a moment ago, set the bar, set the standard for generations to come when it comes to being a special MLB superstar. But the only thing I do believe that's missing from their iconic careers, both iconic baseball players' careers, is they have yet, they never won a World Series in their careers. I mean, Barry Bonds had several trips to the playoffs, never won one. I think Ken Griffey Jr. actually did play in a World Series, but never won a World Series. So I think that's the only thing missing, missing from both of their illustrious careers, never winning a World Series title. But... Barry Bonds was the better player in my perspective between himself and Ken Griffey Jr. But that is all the time I have for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for listening. This is your host, Thomas Tyree, signing off. And I'll see you guys on next week's episode.